Hey everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Brittany. My name is Brittany and today we are doing a balance flow. So this is a class that's obviously going to be about physical balance, but hopefully bring you back into a mental balance as well. Um, if you're someone that struggles with the work side and not so much creativity or more creativity and less focus, hopefully this class will kind of bring you to that middle ground and help you feel physically and mentally balanced. You can grab a block if you have one. If not, I will meet you on your mat when you're ready. So today we're going to start off in a comfortable seat. So whenever you arrive, I want you just to kind of feel your way back to your center. And it may feel different than when you originally sat down. So you can close your eyes and kind of drop in and feel your head over your heart, over your pelvis, shoulders going down the back, reaching up through the crown of the head and the back of the neck is long. On our inhale, start to fill up the chest, fill up the ribs, fill up the belly, and then exhale, empty the belly, empty the ribs, empty the chest. You can place your hand on your heart and your belly if that helps. Breathe in, fill up the chest, ribs, belly, and then exhale, belly, ribs, chest. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, get really full. Even more, take a little sip and let it all go. Get really empty. Good work. Now we're gonna sit up nice and tall. And on the exhale, take your arms, you either at hand center or you can have them palms face up. On the exhale, I want you just to twist to the left. Inhale to minute, middle. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. A little bit faster. One more each side. And then come back to center. Roll through the shoulders. Roll through the back. Just kind of feel your body and how you're feeling today. And then set that intention to become or to feel balanced. Or maybe you do feel balanced and you're just taking this class for fun. That's fine. Welcome. Either way. Set that intention. Get focused on the breath and allow your breath to ground you to that middle place. And when you're ready, we'll meet in a tabletop. So right away, we always check in with our alignment, shoulders over wrists, palms underneath the shoulders, fingers nice and wide, planting into each fingertip. So almost as if you're opening up jars, really, really strong in the hands. That's how we're gonna keep the weight out of our wrists. Knees are underneath our hips. On the inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, broaden the collarbone. Exhale, press everything away, cat pose. Inhale, belly down. Neck and head lifts. Exhale, press everything away. Let the head and neck hang heavy. One more time. Inhale. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale. Press it all away. Good work. Find a neutral table. And then we're going to take our left foot behind us, plant the ball of the left foot, and start pressing into that left calf. So especially when we're working on poses like eagle or um, tree pose, we work into those stabilizer, those balancing muscles, and the calves and the legs can start to twitch. So let's warm those up. You can rock in and out, or you can stay pressing back, whatever feels right to you. And then take that left foot as far as you can take it to the right side. Once you get there, press back into that left hip and then you're gonna close the space between the right hip and right shoulder. So a really big side body stretch here all the way on that left side. Breathe in, fill up those ribs and exhale, return to center. Take that left foot back and then start to kickstand the right foot out to the right side. Peel this left arm open, gate pose. Stacking shoulders, stacking wrists. 
and then begin to lift that left leg off the mat. If it feels um, more stable to have those right toes tucked, you can tuck those toes. Lift from that outer thigh, breathe in. And then on the exhale, let the left foot come down and make like a arch with your left side body. I know this has a name and I can't think of it. Breathe in. And then return to that lift. Left arm lifts, left leg lifts. One more time, lift a little higher, lift, lift, lift. Fire up that outer thigh and then land and table. Good work. Take a cow cat, drop the belly, spread the collarbones, lift the chin, lift the gaze. And exhale, take a cat pose. All right, take that right foot back, plant the ball of the right foot and press back into that right heel. Again, you can push in and out of this, especially if you're really tight in those legs. Or you can stay pressing back if this feels good to you. And then we'll take that right foot all the way to the left side as far as it's going to go and start pressing back into that right hip as you close the space between the left shoulder and left hip. Breathe into those right side ribs. And exhale, bring it back to middle. Keep the right foot back. Start to kickstand the left foot out to the left side and peel this right arm open. Gate pose. Inhale, begin to lift that right leg, flexing through the foot, using this outer hip, outer thigh area. And then exhale, make that rainbow with the right side body. Press the mat away, lift the hips, pull the right shoulder back. And then back to that lifted position, right arm reaches high, right heel kicks to the back of the room. Lift, 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 and let it land, tabletop. Take around the cat cow. And then tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. And let's visit our first down dog of the practice. And as always, if you've taken class with me before, I like to spend time just pedaling this out, checking in with the back of the legs especially if they haven't been warmed up just yet. Slowly shifting weight left to right. Leaning into your breath. And then we'll find stillness. Take your feet about, hips with distance, maybe a little wider, and start to press your weight back, your chest towards your thighs, lift the hips, even if that means you have a micro bend or a deep bend in the knees and try to remove the creases in the wrist. So if you see your wrist and they're really creased, that's your sign to kind of shift it all back. Press them out of the way. Breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. One more of those, inhale. Exhale, let it go. You can work those legs towards straight and if they're already there and you're really open in the legs, lift all 10 toes towards your face. Good work. Inhale, rolls it forward, high plank. I always have to adjust my hands here, so no shame if you have to adjust. High plank, and then exhale, lead with the hips back to that down dog. <sighs> Inhale, roll it forward, high plank. Exhale, micro bend the knees, lead with the hips, down dog. Last spinal roll, roll it forward, and spinal roll back. Good. Inhale, left leg high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And then try to keep that right knee pointed forwards, that left knee pointed towards the ceiling, and then check in with the hands. Hands should be evenly pressing towards the mat. Chest is still facing towards the mat as well. So if you're pulling that left shoulder back, try to square off the shoulders. We're just opening up the hip. Breathe in, and then roll through the ankle or roll through the knee, whatever feels good to you here. We'll meet in a bent knee down dog. Breathe in. Come high onto the ball of the right foot and then roll this left left knee all the way out to the side and it's going to come to a hover by that left elbow. Breathe in and then plant that left foot. Lizard lunge. So we're in a high lizard for now. Take your right hand a little bit wider than the right shoulder. Peel the left arm high. So this is a really wide lungy twist. Breathe in. 
and then exhale, let it land. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes, take your hand to the left thigh, not the knee, left thigh, and start to press that left leg away. You'll see that the right left foot is gonna peel open to the pinky edge of the foot. Let that left big toe come up to give you some space. Good work, breathe in. Get a little deeper, pretend that right hip has a weight towards the mat. And then plant the left hand, start to tuck the right toes and send that left leg up and back. Three-legged dog, square the hips, breathe in. And then um, take that left, left knee to nose. Gosh, you can tell I haven't talked to anyone today because it's coming out kind of clunky, isn't it? We're gonna plant the left foot in between the hands, so take it slow, modified pyramid. So I'm gonna come up to the ball of the right foot as I lean my chest towards my left toes. So this is modified in that we are usually with a flat foot on the back. So since we're taking up some more space, allow that right heel to lift very high as you pulse in and out of this pyramid pose, reaching your chest over those left toes, and then finding your edge and backing out when you need to. Start to pull that left hip crease back even further and hug the inner thighs together. Find that midline, and then plant the right hand. Left arm comes high, twisted, modified pyramid, twisting from the core, Maybe take your gaze up if you're feeling nice and strong. Keep that left hip pulling back. Breathe in. And then left hand comes down as you walk the hands along the long edge of the mat, coming into a skater or skandasana into the right leg. Take it slow. Breathe in. Slowly start to lower to your hips here. And then this left hand's gonna plant behind you. Start to press through the heels, lift the hips, and lift a very wide wild thing breathe in reach 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 and then slowly lower the hips come to a seat and then we're going to come to a jarvastasana or like a seated tree pose so shift to the middle of your mat and then your left leg is extended long your right foot is tucked into the left thigh remove any flesh from under your sit bones inhale arms up and exhale, lead with your chest as you fold over this left leg. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, reach long and fold. And then walk the hands up. Good work. And then walk your hands all the way behind you. As you turn onto those left toes, step the right foot back. Down dog, breathe in, exhale. So if that was a little bit tricky, we are now facing the opposite edge of our mat. Inhale, right leg high, bend the knee, stack the hip. Make some circles with the right ankle or the right knee. Whatever feels good to you, keep that left knee pointing forward and keep your chest pointing towards the mat. Strong in both hands and remember to if you feel like you have creases in the wrist, press back away from the mat a little bit. Good. And then we're going to round this right leg to the outside of the right knee, right elbow. And then let it land. We'll be in that high lizard lunge. And then take that left hand to the outside of the left shoulder and peel the right arm high. A wide, twisted lunge here. Breathe in. And then right hand comes down, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Take your hand to your right thigh and start to press the right thigh away. You'll notice the foot starts to let it open towards the pinky edge of the foot. Let that right big toe lift. Give yourself some space. Breathe in and breathe out. Start to plant the right hand, tuck the left toes. Step that right foot, swing it up and back, three-legged down dog. One inhale here, active in the legs, square the hips, and then bring the right knee to your nose, tiger curl, breathe in. On the exhale, let it land, and then start to straighten into the leg, 
ship the hips back, modified pyramid. We're gonna pulse in and out of this one. So again, if you feel really good here and you wanna stay, feel free to stay. You can even widen your arms to give yourself a little bit more space. If you like that pulsing sensation, then pulse. Whatever feels good to you. We're on the ball of the left foot. Breathe in and breathe out. Left hand plants, right arm starts to lift. Inner thighs hug together as you pull that right hip crease back. Twisted, modified pyramid. Breathe in. Right hand comes down, and then you start to walk your hands again to that left long edge of your mat as you find skater or skandasana to the left leg. Now, it doesn't feel like my left leg wants to go all the way down, so I'm going to stay on the ball of my left foot. Breathe in. Right toes are facing towards the ceiling, and then we'll slowly start to rock it back to a seat. No crash landings. Right arm sweeps behind you. Start to spike into the heels as you lift your hips. A very wide, wild thing. Lift, lift, lift. And then slowly bring it back around. We'll come into that Jarushasana. So tuck the left foot into the right inner thigh. And then center yourself into a, tree a seated tree pose in the center of your mat. Remove any flesh from under your sit bones. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, reach towards those right toes. Now, naturally, my left toe mound wants to pull in. So I'm going to do the opposite by pressing my left toe mound away and peeling my right toe mound back. And you may notice how that changes your stretch. Inhale, half lift, shooting the chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Good work. Start to walk the upper body back up. And then you'll be turning towards the left, long edge of your mat as you plant your hands behind you. Turn onto those right tucked toes. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Down dog. Good work. Inhale comes high to the toes. Bend your knees. Look where you want to land. And then walk or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, finds a half lift. Shoulders down the back. Exhale, fold. One more time. Find a half lift. Shoulders down the back. Crown of the head shoots long. And exhale, fold. This time we'll take our peace sign fingers around our big toe. And I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider, more like hips width distance, and give myself a little space. Inhale, finds that half lift. Still connected to the big toe. Widen the sit bones, roll the inner thighs backwards as you fold. One more time, half lift. Exhale, roll and forward. Hang here for a moment as you bring your elbows out to the sides. Use your core to see if you can't compress a little more into the thighs. Head and neck hang heavy. Good work. Release your fingers from the bind. Soft bend in the knees. Roll up your spine. All right. And then you want to be happy with how you're standing here. So I like my feet about hips width distance. And we're going to pick up all 10 toes. Spread them and then plant them back into your mat. Start to cat tuck the pelvis. So that cat back without the back part of it. You <laughs> Just tuck the pelvis so the hips are underneath you. Shoulders down the back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Start shifting your weight to your left leg. And then we're going to bring that right leg into our tree pose. So right foot comes to the inner left thigh. If this is not accessible, option to take the right foot to the inner left calf, but never on the knee. It can also stay down if you are a little bit challenged with your balance today. Start to breathe. And then if it is accessible to you, we're going to take our hands behind your back and interlace the fingers. All we're doing is pressing these knuckles towards the mat and opening up the chest. Right leg is opening towards the back of the room. Left leg it has a micro bend in the knee if you tend to hyperextend. Breathe in. Exhale. 
start to bring that right knee so it's pointing forward. Keep the bind with the hands and then take an airplane pose. So kick that right leg back, hinging at the hips, trying to keep the hips square, lifting the right leg from the inner thigh, flex the right foot, keep those knuckles squeezing together. Reach, reach, reach with that right heel and reach forward with the crown of your head. Breathe in, slowly let it land in this high crescent lunge, pull the left hip crease back, reach your knuckles towards your heels. Back bend, take some time to ease into it. Good work. Unwind the hands, take the arms up high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reach, reach, reach forward as if you could touch your plants or your wall in front of you. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. My right arm is going to track down my leg, but if it feels better behind the back, you can do so there. And then cartwheel the hands down, framing the left foot. Plant the hands, turn to the, to the um, plant your hands, step that left foot back. High plank. Option to come to your knees here if you'd like. Or stay high into this high plank. And then exhale, begin to lower as you squeeze your elbows into your sides. Inhale, up dog or cobra. If you haven't warmed up into the back yet, you may want to keep this into more of a cobra shape. And exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, comes high to the toes. Bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, finds a half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, half lift. Fill up the lungs. Exhale, fold. Head and neck hang heavy. If you'd like to wrap your arms around your calves and bring your body a little bit closer, widen the sit bones, roll them towards the ceiling. And then slowly start to roll up your spine. We'll take it all to the other side. Okay. So again, get happy with how you're standing. I like to remind people to do that because if your feet are really close together, you might have a harder time balancing. So take my feet about hips width distance, pick up my toes, spread them, and root them back into my mat. Hands to heart center, and then we have that pelvis hips underneath us. Start to shift your weight to the right leg. And find your variation of tree on your this side. So we're standing on the right leg. I'm going to take my left foot to my inner right thigh, actively pressing into that thigh just as much as we're pressing into the foot. Core is engaged as if you could make that space between the bottom ribs and the hip points smaller. And shoulders down the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Start to release the hands behind your back. We're going to interlace the fingers again. This time, flip your grip. So opposite thumb is on top. Once you get there, press the knuckles towards the mat. Widen through the chest. Create some space in your neck by lifting the chin. Breathe in. Let it go. And then start to turn this left knee towards the front of the room and head into that airplane. Take it slow. Trying to square off the hips, so pull that left hip point down, flexing through the left foot. Reach those knuckles high. Breathe in. With control, we'll let it land. Take it back. Crescent lunge with a twist. With a bind, rather. Start to reach your knuckles towards that left heel. Lift through the chest. Find that back bend. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Release your grip. Arms up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach, reach, reach forward. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Inhale here, don't lose the bend in the front knee. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the right foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Again, option to come to your knees here or shift the body forward and begin to lower halfway or all the way. Inhale to the up dog or cobra, your variation. And then exhale, down dog. Good work. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale comes forward, bending into the knees. We're going to come to like a hover table. And then I immediately notice my hands are in a weird spot. So adjust 
So you're in this hover table. Breathe in. On the exhale, lower the knees at the same time. And then sit back to your heels. You can have the toes tucked here if you like the stretch on your feet. If this does not feel good to you, untuck your toes. We're just going to gather our breath here. Get back to that intention that you set. Start to feel your body responding to all the work that you put in. You might be feeling a little warmer. Hopefully you feel a little more balanced. Feeling the life force all the way to your fingertips, the crown of your head the soles of your feet, the tips of your toes. Take one more inhale here. And if you'd like to take a more traditional Shavasana on your back, um, you are free to do so. If not, it was my honor to practice with you today. Hopefully you feel a little bit more balanced or a little bit more aligned or at least a little warmer. Thank you for moving with me today. Namaste.